guys and welcome back to another video today's video we're going back in time to one of the times where Springbok rugby was at one of its strongest and that was in 2009 where we made history by beating the All Blacks obviously in New Zealand and winning the Tri-Nations I think it was also that year it was a great year for South African rugby where we had one of the most dominant uh, Springbok teams we've seen in the years to come Obviously, we've come a long way since this was under an, a, a Peter de Villiers. There's obviously a lot of talk. Is it the man is taking Jake's team? Or should we give him credit for building and continuing the greatness to what the Springboks produced in their years to come? So let's look back at one of the great games. That was the Springboks taking on the All Blacks all the way in New Zealand. This is our first win in a long time. Let's... Let's take a look and see what could do. Not loads of riff. Carter kicks it up. Quality is not the greatest, but it's best we can do for now. Oh. Early penalty, the All Blacks. Crikey. Not a good start. I think if you were watching, you'd go wish it. Early shot for the All Blacks. Are they going to dominate? Car. Step two, step three, he gets him over. Danny Boy is not going to miss those. Too damn good quality of a player to miss kicks like that. Right, we got three and a half, four minutes into the game. Come on, South Africa, do something. I was in the trick in 2009. So, I was a, a little bit younger, 11 years ago, ladies and gents. 60 meter kick for Big Fran Stain. Will he get it, ladies and gents? That's the like was a beast in his form, in his time. Over. Jeez, that was close, just over. Commentator said just under. Another penalty spring box. Could the Bockies take the lead? There's Pierce Spice. Great. Oof, I know that it did. Brian Banner, John Smith. Oof, I know. And here we go. And the kick is. Beautiful kicking. Great stuff from Francis Lane. Yes, he was one of the kings. He really was great in his time. And he's just got bigger and better and stronger. Penalty. John Smith was playing in prop in those days because obviously they wanted to accompany him and Busy. So... Yeah, a lot of people, there goes Dan Carter straight over. A lot of people in those days weren't happy with John Smith being number three and they wanted an actual prop coming in rather than having him in and put him on the bench because Bismarck was so good at these days they just didn't want to kick him out. Oh, here we go. Mornay Stang going for the drop. Over. Something you don't often see from the spin box taking early drop kicks but one has stand could do it eh? so we had the stains as our kickers with nine six 20 minutes in get in Bucky's boy to finding a gap trying to go all the way but couldn't for Rita prayer showing why he's one of the world's greats for Rita prayer Try. Typical scrum off try, going at it, going forwards, making sure we get getting some um, movement in and surprising. I think they thought he was going to go out wide to the wing, but he didn't. Mornay staying. The spring bookies have the boots on. Look at that coaching panel. You've got Dick Muir in there, you've got Gary Gold, you've got 
but I see somewhere he was part of this team. Really great coaching staff Peter de Villiers had at this time. Really, really smashing. He had a great system with him. Though he wasn't my favorite coach, he had a phenomenal support staff around him. Looks like one of the Springboks coming in from the side. Dan Carter going for the kick. Does he get it? He's damn right he does. This boy kicker kicker. Well, all black crates. Right, who we got here? 69 is the score. Another penalty. Is France just staying in it? Go for the post again. Damn right he is. Well done, Stanky. Yeah, that boy, kid, you were playing on four. Mate. 99 is the score. Uh oh. Barnsley talking to Nigel. Karen Reed, click it. Karen Reed, Reed without a beard. Or scruffy hair. Looking a little younger there. Okay, I'll be it was 11 years ago. Uh oh. Shoulder charge. Now, the stupid man, he shouldn't be doing that. It wasn't as bad. Didn't look as bad. Bit of a football move there from Babana, I think, but definitely penalizable. 22 9 to the spring box. Not a, a score you used to see. And now, apparently offside call. Gee whiz. Right, here we go. Danny Boy. Over she goes. Beautiful kick. Straight to the middle. Check at that coaching stop. Graham Henry, Steve Hansen. All Blacks at their finest with the coach to think two years after that they become world champions good line up from the All Blacks oh can they run this can they join the Villiers he was famous for that too not just a banner the intercept kick good old John de Villiers beautiful saw it coming got it through solid de a dominant performance from South Africa at this point but the one thing's for sure is you just cannot count out the All Blacks I don't care how far ahead you are it's just they are just that damn good <laughs> that damn good mm -hmm. Stanky slots in 29-12 55 minutes in Still anyone's game in my opinion. Here come the All Blacks fighting. What oh, beautiful running from the All Blacks. Is that Sevevatu Trotter? I think. It looked like a try to me. I know the one player was calling for it held up, but that looks like a try to me. See if I to scoring a try. Now we've got a game on. Fantastic teamwork try from the spring box. Danny Boy, he gets him. He's got his boots on today as well. So Stain's got his boot, both Stains, and Dan Carter's got his boot. Very dangerous. 19 29, 10 points in it. We're looking at, I think, 63 minutes in. It's very, very shifty quality, this. Penalty. South Africa doing things illegally. And here comes Carter to slot them over. There we go. Seven points in it. 22-29. What's going to happen? Pressure on. 69 minutes left. 10 minutes in South Africa fighting for the ball. Uh, must be Heinrich Brousseau. 
another player who was unfortunate not to get a full-on career in South Africa due to injuries. South Africa taking the lead again. Points back to 10, 32-22. Blacks, two minutes left. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Great try from the All Blacks. Absolutely fantastic try from the All Blacks. So, one thing you cannot sleep with the All Blacks, you've got to keep playing. The comeback is immaculate, they are phenomenal. You saw the gap. I mean, this is brilliant. Good old Captain Rishi McCaw to be on the wing there. That's at South Africa, 129-32. They have just won the Tri-Nations according to that game. Cracking memories, cracking moments of seeing uh, just history in the making of past games and how they developed. For me, I mean, if we look at the Springboks, Jeepers, what a team we had. I mean, you've got France staying on form, you've got Mornay on form, you, you've really got a gel. You've got Bismarck, Duplicity, Heinrich Brasso before he got injured. I mean, it's just brilliant. And I think Richie McCall goes down to say that that was one of the strongest years of Springbok rugby. So, smashing stuff. Uh, good stuff to look forward to. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Um, in the years to come when rugby gets back to action can South Africa keep the current momentum or will we see the All Blacks come back and dominate the world I hope you enjoyed it, something different give it a like, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys real soon for another one stay safe and never give up, cheers